Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. I am Mix. No. If you're new here, I'm Mix. And if... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta throw me off? Always. I'm Chrism. And we're playing this game. It's called the Vermander Curse. Chrism says I'm gonna have interesting reactions to it. Let's check it out. I'd like to thank our amazing, wonderful, fantastic Patreon supporter, Old Abe, for bringing you this video. Thank you so much, Old Abe. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for being majestic and supporting us for so long. It really is appreciated. And of course, a shout out for our producer, Alice. As always, Alice is amazing. We just finished We Were Here Together on stream. Oh, We Were Here Forever, sorry, on stream. And we're going to be checking out some new Spooky Dookie games really, really soon. So hit the link in the description and give Alice a follow. Make sure you tune in for her streams. Anyway. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. So numb. You ready? Yes. Okay. Can you be Hannah? You wanted to see me, Mr. Amanda, sir? <laughs> Hannah, why aren't this month's profits as high as last month's? I've been looking over that piece of paper you gave me earlier and I don't like all the numbers on it. I can't make heads or tails out of that dang thing. They raise a threshold on how much you need to donate in order to get your tax deduction, remember, sir? They did what? When was this? Sir, I've been reminding you about this for the last eight months. But it's actually fine, though. You still end up saving way more money than if you didn't get the deduction, so... With the good lord as my witness, I am being swindled. I will not stand for this. No one gets over on J.P. Vermander, no sir. Not now and not ever. But sir... Now then, where have I been donating all my hard-earned money to again? The hospital, sir. Hospital? Which one? There's only one in town, sir. The only hospital in this godforsaken backwater town they still have the nerve to swindle me out of my money? <laughs> well, I know exactly how to handle a situation like this. Prepare the ritual, Hannah, and go fetch my robes. The ritual? But Mr. Vernander, sir, please! This... This is entirely uncalled for. The people in that hospital have done nothing to you, sir. Besides, the difference in profits between this month and last month was only about 1% less, sir. That's nice and all, Hannah, but I don't remember asking. Now go! We don't have time to waste. Notify me immediately when everything is ready. Okay, sir. No one swindles of Amanda. Baby. No one. No one. Um. Hello? Hello? Anyone home? I hear ya, I hear ya. Give a gal a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Yes? Yeah. Uh, hello there. Dr. Edna, I pres Ida, I presume? That's me, who's asking? Fantastic. I'm Morton, the nurse whose transfer request you received. Transfer request? What in the world are you talking about? You aren't aware? Surely you've read the email concerning me. We don't get no regular internet out here, sonny boy. Only thing we get out here is that old satellite connection. And we ain't got that either. But if you're here to help, I ain't about to complain. You got... A lot to learn, so you better pay attention, because I'm only saying this once. I'm all ears, Doctor. You do have very lovely ears. But when a patient comes in, I write the information down on this ear clipboard. Wouldn't it be better to use the computer instead? No. That's a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> what? The waiting room is over here. I ain't, ain't much to say about it. All the magazines are older than I am, and I ain't, ain't none of them worth reading no more. Oh, my. We got eight rooms. Three are occupied, and three, the rest ain't. Mr. Langboy is over in room A6. I did that backwards. It's because fine. I, it's fine. He had a pretty bad back injury, but we fixed him right up. Miss Tammy Giles is in 3A. 
She needed one of them teeth pulled out, and we ain't got many options for anesthetic. So I gave her some of that old-fashioned medicine I keep under the sink. She'll be a little dizzy for a while, but everything else went smooth as silk. Impressive. There's a woman in A. <laughs> Can my dyslexia calm down for two fucking seconds? You didn't get that. There's a woman over in 4A, too. Poor thing cut her hand up real bad on her job, then tried to hide it. Her boss found out and sent her here. I ain't managed to figure out her name. So I wrote her down as Jane Doe and patched her up. Ah, mystery. I wonder who she is? We ain't known to ask too many questions around here, Mr. Morton. We're here to help. Got it? Understood, Doctor. We got two bathrooms, an operating room, and something like a chick kitchen. Oh, excellent. The lights in here don't work half the time. We keep our medicine supply in the OR, but most of the bottles are empty because the budget ain't paying to refill them. And there ain't nothing ever in the fridge, so don't even bother checking. Oh, does anything in this hospital function as intended? Not really. And that's about it. Let's head back to the front desk so we can get you signed in and start your first shift. Okay. Teleported back. That's lovely. It's very convenient. That old sign-in sheet is somewhere around there. I suggest you go ahead and start searching for it yourself, because I ain't about to come look for it. Honestly, Doctor, I'll find it. In the meantime, I'd better go make my rounds and check up on the patients. Come get me if you need something. Oh, I'm the anteater? Yes. Oh, I thought we were going to be playing that guy. That's why I did the voice. I didn't realize. <laughs> All right, let's do our... Uh... <laughs> we see our own snoot. How you feeling, dear? Hey, Dr. Edna. What are you doing here? Still ain't sober yet. No! <laughs> That's fine, dear. At least that tooth ain't bothering you no more. Just give it some time and try to get some rest, okay? Okay! <laughs> I love this, brother. This is the best thing I've ever seen in the game. Oh. Hi! It's the big bad wolf and his wife. Everything all right in you? I'm fine, Doc. Matter of fact, I feel like I could walk out of here right now. Ha ha ha, ow. See, he can't even laugh without it hurting him. This is exactly why I said, Lang, baby, please stay off the roof. It's dangerous. We could pay someone else to clean the gutters. But did he listen? No. He waited until I left for work, and then he tried to get up there himself. One little gust of ring, and the next thing you know, bam, straight into the hedges. You know, I could have done it if the wind hadn't picked up. That's not the point. You shouldn't have been up there in the first place. Doctor, can you please give this man something to fix his terminal lack of common sense, please? Sorry, honey. Wait. <laughs> Same voice. I'm sorry. And yeah, you're doing great. Sorry, honey. We ain't got nothing to fix that. Now you two try to take it easy, all right? I'll be back later on. Snuff a luffle. <laughs> Should be one more patient, right? If we ever were in the position to make a video game and casted Pretzel as the... We skipped a room, by the way. Oh, we did? Yeah. Um, I think we skipped four. Yep, there we go. Um, oh, hello. I would just make it so that the mechanic would be just like snuffleupling. Snuffleupling. Because that's what Pretzel does all the time. How you doing, dear? More horn. Hunter's farm, bro. You ain't got nothing to worry about. It'll regrow back good as new. Oh, okay. You're most welcome, dear. Try to get some rest and I'll check back later. Oh, okay. All right, that's everyone. I better get back on Mr. Morton. Oh, hi, Mr. Morton. Dr. Ed Eater. The <laughs> phone started ringing while you were gone, so I answered it. And? The caller won't stop going on about rituals and demons, among other things that I don't understand. I think it might be best if you talk to her. 
Ah, there's always something. I wanted to do the elephant trunk thing the, from that from that goofy cartoon. Honey, honey, slow down. Ain't none of this making sense. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, everyone. Oh dear. <laughs> you committed, baby. <laughs> well, at least Hannah will sound a little bit different because she's my baby voice. Please, you have to get everyone out of there right now. My boss just summoned an actual, genuine demon, and now you're all in danger. Uh-huh. And who do you work for again? J.P. Verander, ma'am. Who is that, the doctor? Some rich city boy who moved out of here. Some rich city boy who moved out here when he inherited his family's estate. A lot of folks around here have to pay him rent just because his family owns his land. Yes, that's him, exactly. I don't know all the details, but there's a blood pact, a demon, a curse, and all other kinds of stuff. You need to leave now, once the... the you need to leave now, once the clock strikes ten, you won't be able to leave. It's like one minute to ten. Look at the clock in the background. Yeah. Honey, that's less than two minutes. Ain't no way we're getting everyone out of here that fast. My goodness, I didn't expect the stakes to be this high on my first night, but I'm committed at this point. Is there anything we can do to help out our situation? I did go stupid around and a few old joiners kept blood of Fernandez. Based on what I've read, if you can make it to the sunrise, the demon will leave. But there's a bunch of rules you need to follow in order to keep yourself safe. For example, every hour until sunrise, the demon will enter the place it was summoned to. It will travel down the nearest hallway in search of blood, specifically your blood. Its own rules prevent it from opening doors to search for you, so keep those closed. What room are you both in right now? The reception area. You'll need to keep that in mind, alright? When the demon arrives, make sure you're all in the same room as when the ritual started. If someone isn't, the demon will know. And once it knows where someone is, closing the doors won't stop it. If you're ready, I can tell you what to expect when 10 o'clock hits. I ain't about to let no demon run my house of healing. That's not what he said, but let's go with it. Just tell us what we need to do, honey. Okay, here's what's going to happen first. This demon places a lot of evidence of windows for some reason, right? It'll try to use its powers to open up windows around itself. You're gonna need, and I cannot stress this enough, you're gonna need to close any and all windows before the hour is up. Leave one open and the demon gets stronger. And you don't want that, right? If you finish with everything you need to do before the hour is up, try staring at a clock. I'm sure it'll help time pass faster. I'll stay on the line in case you need me to repeat something. Good luck, and please be careful. This sounds awful. You gotta go. What do we have to do? Close the windows. Okay, but what about the room thing? Just close the windows. No, 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 no. Keep those open. Keep these open? Yes. Alright, where are the windows? You literally stared at one. <laughs> Here. That's the window. Close it. Good girl. Don't, don't talk to me like that. Okay, keep talking. We need to make sure the patient ones are closed, though. Okay. I think. Although we'll it might not matter. Safe. Yeah, just do it to be safe, but I don't know if it matters. There's only one window so far. Yeah, but just go around, check, make sure everything else is That's it. Okay. And just go to your team, make sure. And stare at the clock? Yeah. But what about us? Should we close this door? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, well, no, before you do that, before you do that. No, 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 no. Look at your thing. Look at your clipboard. Yeah. yeah. Alright, next dose, you have to make sure that you dose them um, oh. when it's needed, but you you should be fine for now. Okay. You have to go over. I mean, it's not working. I think it is. What is that? Oh, that's blinking. That'll come in later. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Maybe you have to actually, like, make sure it's, like, red. There you go. There we go. The time was 11 p.m. All the windows had been closed and then it arrived. Oh, that's the door it comes in through. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you need this tape patient store closed because they're in the room. But just to be safe, we might as well just keep them closed. Okay, demon's gone. Excellent. Yes. First one survived. Here's what's going to happen next. There's something about the demon's power that resonates with TV signals, right? It will turn on any TV it can manage to gain access to. They never show anything besides SAG once it takes control, but that's still bad. If it happens, just turn the TV off. That'll kick it out for a while. But don't let any TVs stay on. It won't end well. Doctor, you look tired. That's because I am. Then let me handle things this hour. You should rest. Okay. And now we're going to play more. So, oh, does anyone need medicine? It's Not 11. Yet. No, 12 is the first one. Yes. Oh no, someone's out of their room. I hear a TV somewhere. Here. Yeah, you have to be extra careful. Who's out their room and where are they is the question. You have to look. Close that window. Where the fuck are they? You skipped a room. Where? I think you skipped a bathroom? No. There's two bathrooms, remember? Huh, where is either. she? I don't know, I'm worried. Time's really ticking. Fuck! <laughs> I'm stressed! <laughs> oh my god! Where have they gone? She's somewhere. You have to just find her. Okay, you're skipping a room behind you. This one? Yeah. There we go. So I just close her in here? No! Hey, there's some lady in the mirror looking at me. I believe that's you, Mum. Strange things are happening tonight. I need you to go back to your room, please. My bad. I'll go back now. Yeah, that's what you have to do. I think I've got time. So they're all in their rooms again. And I turned off the TVs, right, and closed the windows. Yeah, but you might want to just make sure. You could talk to them, too. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I'm scared of them. You shouldn't be scared. The job lane! <laughs> Now you're probably gonna miss work. Who knows how they'll react? Heck, now I'm missing work. I know. We'll be fine. Watch come morning, I'm gonna walk out of here good as new. I sure hope so. You can actually tell what time it is from the clocks on their nightstands and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. See? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> you took a long time. Yeah, I lost her. That's why I was freaked out. <laughs> The time was 12 a.m. All the windows have been closed, all the televisions have been turned off, and then it arrived. <laughs> oh my god. That was so clutch. You take so long to do this in comparison to the videos I've seen. Oh my god. I'm really bad at this kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. I hate this kind of thing. I hate, like, management horror type stuff. Oh my god. Okay. I'm glad I mentioned something. Now we have to do medicine for someone. Who is it? Well, we'll look at the thing. New rule? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen this time. You'd be surprised how much demon powers resonate with the electronics. It can gain access into the phone lines and try to gain power, too. If you notice the phone continuously ringing, then that's exactly what it's trying to do, alright? Now, this is going to sound crazy, but you need to pick up the phone and listen. Pay attention, because this is important. 
If you hear anything, and I mean anything on the other end, you gotta recite this mantra. Your presence is not welcome here. You must depart immediately. Don't worry, you'll remember it when the time comes. But if there's silence on the other end of the phone, then keep quiet. Silence means it hasn't figured out the phone's location yet. And you don't want it to give it any clues. I ain't as tired anymore. I'll, I'll let me handle it this time. Sounds good to me, Doctor. You take the side, I'll take the next. Alright, so we need to go to the, the wolf. Where yes. do I get the medicine? Uh, the yeah, oh, OR. The room down the hall, yeah? Yes. Right, we'll check everything as we go. Window. Fuck! Controls! <laughs> you need to fix your mouse. No one in there. They're in there. TV's off. They're in there. TV's off. I don't hear anything. So stay silent. You can sense the presence at the other end of the phone has disappeared. Departed, actually, it said. <laughs> Whatever, you didn't read it. <laughs> Here's the medicine, yeah? Yep. Pick up the meds. Right, everyone's in their room, so yep, that's good. go to the roof. Here, it's time for some pain meds. Just in time, that was starting to add up a few. Thank you. Everything's closed and off in here. I think we're done. I think you're done. We did it a lot quicker today. I think we're good. All right, we're going back, okay? Yes. Oh, yeah. Time was 1am, all the windows have been closed, all the television has been turned off, all the phones have been answered correctly, and then it arrived. How long do I have to do this for? 6am. Yep. Okay. It's intense. Here's what's going to happen next. The demon will try to draw power from any lights it can access to. You'll know if it's inside a room when the lights start flickering. When it happens, all you need to do is enter the room, close the door, and shut your eyes for a few seconds. You're really going to need to use the space inside your mind to focus for this to work. You know it worked when the light stopped frickering. Make sure you do it, okay? If you don't, then... Alright, anyone today? It's 1am, so yeah. Uh, Jane Doe with the hand injury. We don't know who she is, the drunk one, right? No, Jane Doe is the octopus. Okay. I don't fucking know. Not this one. You don't hear anything, so say nothing. Yes. You can sense the presence is gone. And what's her face is out of the room again, so you have to go right back in. She's in the bathroom again. Hey, it's a lady. Okay, go, go, go back. Go back. Fuck off. <laughs> right, she's in her room. Octopus lady needs meds. We'll come back for her in a minute. Yes. TV off. Is off in there. They're all fine. Can't think the windows closed. All right, go in here. Close, Close my eyes. One, two, three, four. All good. Yes. I mean, you don't have to close. Yeah, I know. I don't. I keep forgetting. Do I take payment? Yes. Yep. And I give it the, the octopus check. Yeah. Yes. Madam, I bought your scheduled pain medication. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything. Okay. Yep. See, I'm getting better. 
The time was 2am, all the windows have been closed, all the television sets have been turned off, none of the lights have been left flickering, all the phones have been answered correctly, and then it arrived. Yeah! Yeah, you did it, Bubby! Well, we still got a while to go, Bubby. I know, but so far so good. We have four more nights. I'm getting you a better mouse, though. <laughs> I like my mouse on max sensitivity. Obviously you don't, because... I panicked there, okay? That was different. <laughs> There's one final thing this demon is gonna try. Ristolistic candles. It has the power to manifest them. It's vital and very important that you, if you see one, you extinguish it. You let it keep burning, the demon will be able to draw power from it. It won't try anything new after it gets to this part, so you don't have to worry about any more new rules. Oh, and I almost forgot something. This is important too. Whatever you do, make sure you don't... <laughs> oh no! Well... I... Okay, now you have to check everywhere for this time, because the cause the candle... No, 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 when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Go to the waiting room. Okay, nothing in here? Good. Okay. And then I can start checking the room systematically again, yeah? Yes. Candle. Window. TV. TV. Window TV. Candle, blow it up. TV? She's sleeping, so they shouldn't move anywhere. She's sleeping. Yes, TV off. Windows fine. Okay, TV off. Oh, there's a phone somewhere. You listen closely. You hear shallow breathing inside the mantra. phone. Mantra. Recite the mantra. You can send the president of the phone if departed. Okay, that's easy. Off. Take it off. Jeez. Close door. Close eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's everything. Yes. Right, go back and stare at the clock. Yep. No, no, no! No, stop! What? <laughs> Door! Oh. <laughs> Jesus, she scared me. Well, you scared me. You would have died. <laughs> the time was 3 a.m. All the windows are closed, the television turned off, none of the lights have been left flickering, all the telephones have been answered correctly, all the candles have been extinguished, and then it arrived. Ugh. <laughs> you scared me so much there. Well, you scared me. I thought you were going to kill us. <laughs> we're in Nomki and we can't die. This demon's pretty ineffective so far. Listen, that's because we've been keeping on top of things. We've got like three more to go. Yes. And it's gonna get increasingly hard. Yeah. Great. <laughs> no candle in the waiting room. Okay, we can go off, yeah? Yes. Nothing in here. Candle. Candle there. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Let me check those windows again. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. In here. TV off. Yes. Window closed. Nothing else in here. Off Phone on. in here. Next to the sleeping wall. If you listen closely, you don't hear anything. So we stay nothing. And the phone's dealt with. Fantastic. Yes. Alright, window is closed. That door is closed. Nothing in here. Yeah. No window. Window? Window. Oh, shit, yeah, you're right. I'm really glad you're with me. I don't notice shit. <laughs> Nothing in here. Lights flickering in here. Close. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, everything done. Yes. Just check the waiting room before you do it. But other than that, everything else should be fine. Okay, nothing in here. Okay. okay. We're good. All good. Two hours left. Okay. All the windows were closed, televisions were off, none of the lights have been left flickering, all the phones have been answered correctly, all the candles were extinguished, and then it arrived. Thank fuck. Yes. We're getting there, baby, we're getting there. Yep, two hours to go. This is fun.
We're just lucky that the Remanders were so cheap they didn't go with a better demon. What's the demon's <laughs> name? Uh, Bim. Bim. Oh. But not related to Big Bum Bim, obviously. No. That'd be weird. Okay, now, um... Wedding room? I think somebody needs their pain pills. Can't read it, so I doubt it. Mm. Maybe we're meant to memorize it? Yeah, but I don't know who... Would it be the one we haven't given any to at all? Maybe? But everyone's asleep, so I don't know. I'm going to assume no. The other person didn't look like they had it on their schedule, from what I recall. Okay? Okay. Nothing in any of these so far. Window! Yeah, we can't wake them up, so I'm going to say no for the pills. Mantra. Okay. I see the candle there, obviously, but give me a second. Yes, close. One, two, three, four, five. Um, there we go. It was very hard to click Yeah, on. you gotta get the snoop, like, right there. Okay, I think everyone's alright. I think that's everything. I'll check the bathrooms. The sun begins to rise in the little town. The demon could not stay in the world much longer. However, in direct violation of the Vatapact, no blood had been spilled that night. The most important part of the pact had not been fulfilled, which meant the agreement was now null and void. After generations of being enslaved to the Vermanda family, the demon was finally free. And though it did not have much time left, it knew exactly how to wish to spend its final moments. Oh, God. Oh, God, we got to the end of the game. <laughs> oh, is it going for Mr. Vermanda? <laughs> oh, good. Hannah, what in the world are you doing back here this early? Oh, she's very British now. <laughs> Hannah, I wasn't British before, but I've decided to be British now. <laughs> oh, it's you. Don't you have some work to be doing? What do you want? Now all of a sudden you're Western again. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you go forgetting that you work for me, mister? I command you to get out of here. Why weren't you listening to me? <laughs> The angry howls of the demon echoed through the town that morning, and then the estate fell deathly quiet. As it turned out, Hannah hadn't left the Miranda estate that previous night. She'd been far too tired to return home after feeding instructions through the phone at night. Instead, she fell asleep in one of the manor's empty rooms. She was awakened by the awful noises emitting from upstairs. Hannah climbed the stairs and quickly made her way over to the office. Inside there lie J.P. Miranda, beaten, unmoving, and absolutely mangled. But against all odds, he was still alive. Hannah had a choice to make. A large part of her wanted to simply leave him there to give him some disrespect and disregard that he showed to others. She turned to leave, but deep down she knew this wasn't the right thing to do. As bad as it was, she would not stoop to his level. So instead she called for help. Fuck's sake. It's poetic justice. Oh, he's in the hospital? Yeah. In my right turn events, Jason Manor's life was saved at the very same hospital he tried to get rid of himself of. Despite the rightful and justified anger at the man, Dr. Ida and Nurse Morton treated him no different than any other patient, and he was soon on the road to a full recovery. During his stay in the hospital, he was given a room near the front. Day after day, he watched the patients as they came and went. He watched as the hospital's only doctor and sole nurse did their best to help every person that arrived. And as he watched, he realised something. Those confusing numbers on the little piece of paper actually meant something. Those numbers represented actual people, people with lives and emotions. Oh, did we get a good ending? Yeah. People that just wanted to get the help they deserved. We did everything. Yes. It took a near-death experience at the hands of an angry demon and an intense stay in the hospital. But JP finally felt something that Nova Manda had felt for a long time. Remorse. And he vowed he would do everything in his power to try and make amends. Yay! He learnt the error of his ways, baby. Yeah, yeah. However, due to the pack being broken, most of the wealth and power it granted was soon lost to crippling debt. 
With no options, JP sold up his estate and assets to pay his dues. And the last remaining plate of his fortune was donated to the hospital. As a sign of goodwill, Dr. Eda let him stay in one of the vacant rooms until he get back on his feet. He is currently working as a food delivery driver to make ends meet, as he wasn't qualified for anything else. Though he does miss his money and his old lifestyle, in the end he's thankful to still be alive. Aww. Jesus Christ, that his tits. Morton settled into Listen, his new job as a nurse just fine. You know you'd want a size of tits that big. I don't know if I want them that big. Your boobs are numb. I mean... <laughs> they are. Despite the rough first night, he grew to love the strange new town and its people. In the end, he knew the decision to move here was the best one for both him and his daughter. Yeah, you, you were meant to, like, talk to each other, too. Oh. You, so you didn't get any of the story. <laughs> Eda is still the best and only doctor in town. She plans to use the donation money to renovate the hospital so they can provide the best care possible for years and years ahead. And though they had natural budget, she decided to hire on an accountant. Hannah happily accepted the position as her old job was no longer available. She was glad to finally have a boss that appreciates her hard work. And though it took a while, she did eventually give Amanda for all his misdeeds. The hospital had a bright future ahead of it, and everyone was on good terms. And that's all that mattered. That was actually really fun, by the way. Is it funky? Yeah, I really liked it. It was a nice little story. Yeah, but there's there's a lot more you can learn. You, you're you kind of supposed to talk to the patients and to the nurse and everyone and, and get more of like the actual lore of it. Okay. But um, you were very panicky. <laughs> I panicked a lot, but it was a good game. I enjoyed it. <laughs> And I hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed, consider liking the video, leaving a comment below. Checking also... out the uh, other person's stuff. Yes, he there's he other is. games. We might, we might play some of them, actually. Yeah. Uh, you can also uh, go to our Patreon. Uh, there's a link in the description for that if you'd like to go and check it out and pledge. We are very close to unlocking our goal of an Eve uh, remaster playthrough. Mm -hmm. So if you want to check it out, link is there. Consider pledging. Um, you can watch us live on Twitch as well if you want to see live streams. Twitch.tv slash Crankshow, link in the description. And I think that's it, Nom Kids. Yes. You have a great rest of your day. Be amazing, be Nom, and go I'll watch, see you really soon. Go watch, um, what can they watch? Everything. <laughs> oh my god. You should watch the newest video, actually, Dollhouse, because that was really, really a creepy game. Um, very intense chases, if you want to see intense horror chases. Check it out. Bye. <laughs>